Good morning, and thank you for joining me. Saturday, May the 2nd, 2020. And I come back at you again with somewhat of an informative educational post. Hopefully it brings you education, knowledge and value. And today, just like the last couple of posts that I've done, they're gonna be revolved around a certain number. So a couple of days ago, I did the top five supplements that you could take for weight loss and I added a bonus. Yesterday there was the top, no when I say top five, they're kind of my top five or five that I recommend. They're not actually gospel top five as in like scientifically proven that you need that as being number one. However, yesterday's was pretty interesting because there was an actual number one in that. So if you want to find out what that was, just go back, have a look at that video. And that was the best five foods for energy. So today, got myself thinking, as a nutritional advisor, practitioner, and being a fitness professional, you do hear kind of a revolving theme and the same narrative that comes when it's based upon nuanced fact. And vitamins, minerals, foods, there's certain things that we call nuances that people believe as in don't eat carbohydrates after six o'clock is um is steak good for your iron and there, there, there's a lot of things that I could, I could crack on with but I won't do that because that will take the actual objective of this post away what I want this post to represent today is a 10 now you could say top 10 but I'm just going to say 10 10 foods that can help you up your daily percentage of vitamin C. Because there was a lot of, not necessarily scaremongering, but there was a concern about the immune system and what to do with the immune system. That kind of, th those theories, they, they kind of be squashed a little bit, meaning that your immune system had to be of a good defensive ability in order to fight off anything that was coming in that was quite foreign. However, it's not a bad thing to just get your weapons in order, get your tools in order. So vitamin C is a big one for the immune. And it does offer so many other kind of benefits to you. It's a great antioxidant, so it fights off what we call free radicals. So in the air, whenever you breathe in the air, you're, you're breathing in toxic elements. And those toxic elements, you need to somehow get a defense system inside. And the, de the defense system inside, we want it to be filled with, great, with a great army of soldiers. Those soldiers are going to be antioxidants. So what they do, they fight off the free radicals and vitamin C is real good for that. So I won't give you an absolute obvious and that's kind of my personal challenge. My personal goal is to not give you the obvious vitamin C. So some things that you have in your cupboard right now that can help you, or there are other things that would need a little bit of sourcing out. So let's go with number one and let's go with the herbs, believe it or not. Parsley. So number one being parsley. So the next herb that I'm going to go for is thyme. So again, fresh thyme could help you out in increasing your vitamin C uptake. Now don't get me wrong, it's not going to be your absolute maximum uptake of vitamin C, like your, your, your daily value, what we call the DV. So daily value, you need about 90 milligrams per day of, of vitamin C. And um, that's that's real, real easy to get. However, a thyme combined with parsley, that'll get you on your way for sure. Okay, so let's go into more vegetables. So number three, we'll go into broccoli. Broccoli has great vitamin C properties. While we're on the topic of broccoli, let's go number four, which is gonna be Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, again, real, real good. And then we've got number five. Number five is kale. So kale is quite high. In, um, in vitamin C and a, a cup would yield something like 125 milligrams of uh, vitamin C. 
as well. So the recommended I said is 90. However, that is way, way low. If you look at supplements, they kind of start off at the 500 mark and then we're going up to 1000, etc. So these foods that I'm talking about now, you need quite a lot of them together in order for you to get the real uptake. However, just a little bit at a time. So that was kale. Okay, so let's go into more fruit. The sun was well and truly getting in the eye. So let's go on to fruit. So there's a fruit that's um, Australian native. So it's going to be pretty difficult for you to pick it up in, in the UK. And that's the kakadu. The kakadu fruit. And while we're on the subject of fruit and quite exotic ones, let's go for guava. So guava is a, is a Mexican um, South, South American fruit. And again, not too difficult to pick up in this country, but those two fruits, the kakadu and the guava, huge huge i think there's something like 560 milligrams in the um in the kakadu for just like one serving which is a cup full it's massive very very big and i think there's something like 200 in the um in the guava okay so you know when you go into a supplement company and you'll see the vitamin c supplements and sometimes it will say vitamin c with rose hips well, it's the rose hip fruit that gets found on the rose plant. That's actually the one that gives you the most um, effective release of vitamin C. So we've got three fruits there. Pineapple is another one. So if I can just reflect back, I don't even know how many I've done. Right, so we've done parsley, we've done thyme, and then I went on to broccoli, and then I went on to kale and Brussels sprouts as well. And then I hit, I just said pineapple, that's six. And then the kakadu, which is seven. And then the, um, the rose hips, which is eight. Guava, which is nine. Okay, so we've got another one. There's a few more. I might just prolong this a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, so sweet yellow peppers. They offer some real good vitamin C. So that's number 10. Let's go a little bit further. Let me, let me get my brain engaged here because I know there's more. I know there's more. So let's go, let's go three more. Let's go 13. Great number. Never be afraid. Never ever be afraid. It's all absolute horse manure. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe it's not. Right, so black currants. Uh, that's another big one. And um, something that isn't quite evident and obvious is lemons. Lemons, they hold some great vitamin C properties. In fact, I think, if I'm not mistaken, probably might be, um, one, one lemon itself, I think that yields something like 83 milligrams of, um, of vitamin C, which is above average of, well, we want 90, so that's 90%, sorry, around 93% of your daily value intake that you need, you can get it through one lemon. And that one lemon will give you about 83. And yeah, like I said, if there's, if there's, if we're looking for 90 being the daily value and a lemon offers you something like 83, then you're getting a, a high over 90% range of the, um, of the vitamin C. And let's give you just that one more. And that one more, very fittingly, because I'm a big, I'm a big fan of a band that is legendary and they're called the Red Hot Chili Peppers. So a chili pepper will give you great vitamin C. Right, so let's reflect back and um, I'll probably get this all mixed up. So we got the, the chili pepper being number one, got the lemon, two, black currants being three. Then we've got the guava, four, the kakadu, five. Then we've got the rose hips, six. Then we got the broccoli, seven. Then we got the the kale, eight. Then we got oh god, I'm struggling. Rose hips, nine. Then we got the thyme, ten. We got the parsley, eleven. Got the guava as being number twelve, and the yellow sweet peppers being number thirteen. Hopefully that has brought you value. I was struggling. Look at that. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hopefully that's given you some sort of value. And like always, there's going to be links down there 
and the links are going to be towards my website www.trainwires.net and also on my new online platform my pt hub i'm going to click the link i'm going to put the link down there so you can click it and what that will get you through is my six week um, home workout plan with nutritional plans in, in involved as well and that's trainwise at myptehub.com i wish you an immense saturday and an awesome week ahead and i'll probably see you tomorrow for some more educational stuff peace and love